talk about bottle feeding. Bottle feeding is very important to effectively know how to bottle feed your baby. Because if you don't, what can happen is sometimes they can choke on the bottle or you can overfeed your baby. So I'm just gonna talk about effective ways to feed your baby. Sometimes also, if you don't know how to bottle feed the baby, a lot of the times the newborns are very, very sleepy and they don't feed as effectively. So you think that they don't wanna eat as much, they're only eating like five or six cc's of the formula or your breast milk and they actually want more but they don't know how to effectively suck and swallow. So what I do for my babies is I usually wrap them up. You wanna make sure your baby is warm before you have feedings because if your baby's cold, it can cause um, some disturbances in their, in their GI system. So I make sure my baby is warm. You know, you do skin to skin first, you can wrap the baby up. Wrapping just makes it also a little easier to position. What a lot of people that I find do is they take the bottle and then they put the baby in the cradle and they just go like this and then they wonder why the baby's not eating. <laughs> So what I usually do is you can have two ways. So I'm gonna sit here actually. So I can either sit down and I can feed the baby. What I do is I actually lift up the baby and if I have like a little handkerchief or napkin here, you can lift up the chin. So you can't really see from, from this baby. He's just a mannequin. But you will lift up the chin. I do some chin support. You make sure the tongue is on the bottom of the bottle. Because what happens a lot of babies sometimes they like lift up their tongue they don't really have the, the ability yet and they haven't learned how to bring the tongue to the bottom so what i do is i kind of tickle the bottom a little bit of the lip wait for the baby to open up and then i make sure that the the baby is actually sucking appropriately i do a little bit of chin support i help and then what if, what you can do also if you are breastfeeding is something called pace feeding pace feeding basically is you'll feed a little bit you'll stop, give the baby a breather, feed a little bit more. That helps to prevent the baby from being discouraged on the breast. Because what happens is when the baby's drinking a bottle, it's a lot easier. So then if baby's drinking a bottle, they're like, mm, 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 this is so easy. And then they try to get to the breast and then they find that it's a lot harder. So what I do is you'll feed a little bit, you'll let them rest, you'll let them, let them pause, regain, and then you'll feed more. That way they don't get so used to the bottle that they don't want to breastfeed. And I understand sometimes we do have to give some supplementation through the bottle, whether it be the Billy Rubens High or Mother's Preference or Physician's Order. So don't be discouraged if you do end up having to bottle feed. Sometimes if you have to give supplementation, the best supplement to use is your own breast milk. So if you can use a pump, that's the best. Um, but keep in mind that if you try pumping in the first few days, you're probably not going to get much out. But you can always try, you know, and what you can do is if you do have to give formula, you can make up the lost stimulation by pumping. Just don't be discouraged if not much milk comes out, but you do need to have some extra stimulation to increase and protect your milk supply. That is the theme, protect your milk supply. So this is me feeding my baby here with nice chin support. Um, when we're done, we burp the baby. So I'm gonna per put my bottle to the side here. What I do is I hold the baby firmly here, chin, and I'm supporting the chest here. And you can actually sit your baby on your lap and you can actually burp like this straight here. If your baby starts choking for whatever reason, um, it's good to have a bulb syringe next to you, especially for newborns. So I actually have my bulb syringe here on my crib. So if my baby was choking, I would be patting the back. And then what I can do is first you push away from you and then you put it in the corner of the mouth, you suction out and then you can um, put it in a napkin or something like that. You can do the same thing in the corner of the mouth, put it in a napkin, something like that. If the baby's crying, at least that's a, that's a good thing. If your baby's not crying and your baby's blue, you definitely want to keep um, patting the back and notify the nurse as soon as possible if your baby does not start crying soon, especially. Um, so this was our bottle feeding section and I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it was helpful to you with your family.